here. Yeah. What's up? You boy South shit rise. I'm back, baby. I've been gone for a minute. You know what's up. Let's do it. And yeah, I know. It's strange. After all this time gone, when I come back with a fucking Call of Duty video? What's up with that? But hey, hey, let me explain. I tried to play Tekken another night. I was ready. I was like, okay, let me get back on my video game. Making these videos. Tekken time. I booted it up. And tried to get online. And I was getting some kind of error message. Which was strange because I never saw this from Tekken before. I usually see it with Call of Duty. But I was getting this message saying error can't communicate with server or something like that. I don't know. So I couldn't play Tekken online to make my videos. And I was thinking I could do a single player. You know, why don't I just do a single player playthrough just to put something up? But I was like, I don't know how to receive that, you know. I don't know if people want to watch me beat up on the computer. I guess it could be a good way to show combos I do without lag, you know. But I still might do that, you know, which I think. You know, I get the feedback of my subscribers. Anyway, I just got my head busted right there. So I was like, well, I had this Call of Duty video stored up. So I might as well just get back into it with this. I know y'all, some of y'all don't want to see Call of Duty, but on real, Black Ops 2 is the game I'm playing most right now. I play this game like for hours every night. And I really was playing it like nothing but this when I was grinding for these diamond assault rifles. I got them a while back. This is the first video I put up where I showed myself playing with them. This is the M27 assault rifle. Hardcore mode. I love playing hardcore mode. Hardcore kill confirmed because when you shoot somebody they die instantly. So it kind of counteracts lag. And in kill confirm mode, since they die so fast, people are actually grabbing tags and the games actually go all the way. They don't usually end on timeouts. People actually get to 100 tags. As you can see, no HUD, no UAV. This is for pros. This is if this is for people who just like serious about they Call of Duty. You know, the the veterans. We don't need no help. We don't need a UAV up there all the time. We use instincts and guts. But anyway, the main point of this playthrough right here was. I got the idea, well, the, the, the notion, the inkling, whatever you want to call it, to start trying C4. Wow, like that right there. I was like, let me, let me try C4. I don't usually use any lethal equipment. You know, in this Call of Duty, you can set up how you want your system to be. You pick 10 or whatever. And I don't carry any type of grenades, tactical or lethal. I usually use primary gunfighter. And perk 3, Greed. So I can get that dexterity and tactical mask on my third perk tier. And I like having three attachments on my on my gun. I usually use quick draw, fast mag so I can reload fast. Uh, quick draw so I can aim faster. And if I'm using a semi-auto assault rifle, I throw on select fire so I can change it to an auto. Or on a gun like this right now, I threw a grenade launcher on because I want to try a grenade launcher too. I was like, let me try to go one man army on a game. So this is what this gameplay is. Me trying out grenade launcher and C4 to see how I do. And how the hell did I miss him? This map, it's like my favorite map because especially on Kill Confirmed. Because it's like, a, it's small, it's full of action. And games move quickly. And I'm man, I'm going kinda going kinda ham with that C4. Uh sentry gun got me. So yeah, I love this map. Hijacked. I like it a lot better than Nuketown, that's for sure. Nuketown gets on my nerves. There's something about that map where I just I can't I can't play it, man. I don't like it. It's a small map and I like small maps, but 
You know what it is about Newtown? It's the it's the fucking houses and the the people who get in the windows and just camp up there. They they ruin everything. You can kind of do that on this map up here on this balcony, but it seems like it's a little harder to do it because there's that that big middle area that kind of blocks the view of the ground. And you can, you got that on Nuketown too with those buses or whatever, but I don't know, it's just something more irritating about Nuketown. Maybe if it had a hardcore mode. But trying to play an objective based game is a pain in the ass on Nuketown. I'm just launching grenades. Diamonds shining. Man. I gotta come in, Treyarch, for what they did with this diamond camo setup because you know if you remember in the first black ops people complained about always getting killed by the famas is that what that gun was <laughs> I, I think that's what it was everybody used the famas in black ops the majority of people used it because it was the best gun but this was I don't know if anybody really acknowledged how smart this was by giving us a reason to use every gun in the class for a while. You have to use it for a while to do all the, the camo achievements to get them gold. You, you have to do that with every gun before you can get diamond. So you have to use every gun for a while. You get used to them. It creates variety. So people who go for these challenges, you know, and it I, it was, it was frustrating at times, but it, it kept me playing. It, it added replay value, and it made me try out every gun and just get decent with every gun. Because some of these assault rifles are, are real irritating to use. But it was brilliant. Think about it. Like, if, this, if the diamond camos weren't added the way they were added, everybody would probably still be using this, the best what they felt was the best assault rifle you know it wouldn't be any reason to switch it up but now you have to switch it up you have to if you want these camos and you're not a fucking hacker cuz the fucking hackers just get it the cheap way they didn't do that part good what the hell is up with that Treyarch but people like me who worked for it you know we used all the weapons so it, it makes you play with every weapon so you don't always see people using the same gun so that was a good job People so people talk so much of, uh, about what they hate about the games and what they should have been done, doing better, could have done better. I want to give them a shout out personally on that one thing, cause that's that's a big significant thing. It leads to more variety, more gun types, people experimenting more. And when you think about it, it's like man, they should have done something like that a long time ago. So. I hope they continue that in future games. I'm sure it won't go nowhere. Why would you take out diamond camos? It's, it's something to play for. It's something to keep you coming back to the game. And this game makes me want to try to get diamond with every gun class. Like, I might even start using sniper rifles just to get the diamond camo. And I hate sniping. Ooh! What you was back there making a sandwich, boy? I'm definitely... I'm using the... Uh, Submachine guns now. Submachine guns are still the most popular gun class. But you know, you gotta use every one of them to get your diamond camo. I gotta say, the submachine guns definitely fit my playstyle. I like to move fast, I like to run and pick up tags. But I want to be different, of course, as usual. Y'all know me. So I said I'm gonna get my assault rifles diamond first. Because that seems to be the class that you rarely see people get this diamond camo on. So I did the hardest one first that I felt was the hardest. As far as the guns, I'm sure something like diamond crossbow would be even harder. Because I definitely don't use that. Or a diamond... Well, no, I won't say diamond pistols would be hard. I just don't really use pistols. But some of the pistols in this game are like as good as the submachine guns because they they fire in bursts they not all single shot anyway
We won that game by two points. I went hand with the C4. I didn't really talk about the gameplay too much. I was just going off on my little thing, on my little tangent. Anyway, South Shore Rise is back, baby. I'm coming with some Tekken videos. Uh, If I'm able to get online, I'll do some online play. But if not, I'll just do a single-player playthrough and show some combos.